All right. This is Capital Peak Construction. We've got the bamboo backsplash. When we originally met with the client, they wanted to have uh, this uh, bamboo floor. It's kind of like a wood with little inserts and the entire bathroom. I'm sorry, I don't, I can't zoom out any further than this. So it's going to be a little hard to see. But basically the entire ceiling is uh, iron green 2x2. Two two, and it's got three large windows. Um, and then it comes down to uh, $3,000 worth of Listello. And then as you go into the shower, we've got a couple different really cool features here. The first being the bathtub. It's a soaks tub with a little soap dish on the side. And it's pretty deep. And so since this is um, definitely like a hazard, we um, put a lock on the door so that children couldn't really just get in. So as we go through the rest of the house, I'm just going to walk this with you real quick. My name is Joseph Tuzzer. I'm the owner of Capital Peak Construction. I'm a little dirty because I just resealed the whole floor. <laughs> um, we did all the hardwood floors. We didn't get to trim the house out because um, we had all the hardwood, all the tile and some other features that took up a lot of time. So we just kind of had some other craftsmen take care of a lot of the work with us. And so the backsplash, the cabinets. So this floor continues. It's a floating floor because it's over a radiant heating. And then you got a built out firebox here. Um, we had a lot of changes. We have a ton of square footages left over. And no one's ever happy to have extra square feet left over. But you know, when we designed it, we didn't realize there were going to be these wood shelves on the sides. And we uh, ordered enough to do the insert where the TV's going to go. You have a powder bathroom here. You got your laundry, your entry, or, well, anyways, HVAC entry. Your main entry is right here. I'm going to back up just so you can see the arch and everything. Um, so you got this arched entry that comes in. The very first room off to the right here is just a little sunroom just to hang out. And so, cool little sunroom. And as you walk into the house, so the master's in the very back um, where the garage is, which is pretty interesting. But just gorgeous. Uh, we did do the sealant on the floors, but we didn't, ins uh, the sealant on the steps because the painters messed up. But they did a pretty good job everywhere else. So Up here we have cork flooring. So really cool. And then big mirrors really just to accentuate the room. And there's going to be a projector screen there and a workout area. And um, Man, having a mirror here just makes the room feel just way bigger. It's pretty cool. Small deck. Regional wanted us to be a little higher here. So the answer was basically just, well, the builder's answer was to put wood on there. I, it works. So um, Main bath is gray with inserts. This is the first one we've ever done like this. I really like it a lot. It's, we raised, it's a basic tub, but we raised the, the frame up with some two by fours and then set the tile right on the deck so that right here, it just goes right onto the tub. And I really like that a lot. So we've already started doing that on other projects. Um, a lot of builders just kind of trust that we're gonna bring really good quality to the table. I've got like four other projects I gotta to run to here, but I really wanted to make sure that we have a recording of this because this is just something else. So, especially the bamboo downstairs. I really had a lot of fun working with that. Um, continued cork flooring. The only two floors in the entire house that are carpeted is the bedrooms upstairs, his and hers. So the two kids, um, when they get older, they have their own bar. <laughs> Hopefully it's a long time from now, but uh, meanwhile, they can have taquitos.
And then from the deck upstairs here, you have just this beautiful view. You got a little river down there, and you've got these huge trees and um, the continued ironwork that just goes all over the place. The shorter fence is the perimeter fence for meeting code in these older houses. They're not allowed to be over a certain height. And so the entire backyard is higher, uh, kind of as a, a safety gate or uh, for, you know, for the kids and, and everything else. But um, hold on one second here. So we just finished grinding the floors, and it's really been a pleasure to serve this client. It's been pretty difficult there towards the end because there's uh, been a lot of little adjustments. But um, anyways, if you need anything, you can reach us through Capital P Construction's Facebook page. Um, it's the only option right now. Um, but really, we just spend most of our time serving a couple builders. So if you're looking at having something really cool done, hopefully it's an art piece, like the stained glass window that's further below. Um, I really enjoy building uh, custom art, and I hope that we're able to continue that. Um, we have a piano that will be starting next, and I'll have footage for you as we get through that project. But, um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day.